Hi guys, as I mentioned in my previous video that uh, I will cover the topic of uh, backhaul issues uh, or should I, should I say non-RAN issues in the next video. So here it is. Now what do I mean by non-RAN issues? Now uh, in the RAN side whenever we have an issue of let's say low throughput or any other problem um, that is not related to RAN itself and something related to the backhaul backhaul congestion or a routing issue or an application level like like a YouTube issue or Facebook issue that is out of our control or a server issue like you're doing an FTP or a UDP test from a server downloading a file from the server you're doing a drive test and you're not able to get uh, the required throughputs a speed test server issue or core issues all of these issues are not related to radio network it's not related to our RAN side but still they impact our RAN um, performance right so to find out that it is not a RAN issue or where the issue is located it's very difficult it uh, needs an end-to-end -end tracing you need drive tests you need Wireshark TCP traces uh, you need probes on multiple uh, paths or multiple checkpoints and in the end then you can identify where the issue was so what I'm going to do today is, is trying to show you a, a technique or should I call it a, that sort of a trick to look at um, a KPIs and uh, identify or um, try to identify that it is an issue that is not a RAN issue but more of, more of a backhaul or a core or an application level issue. So uh, let's see how we can do that. Uh, it, again, I must uh, say that it's not a 100% thing but in my own personal experience I found it correct to be around 80% of the time. So let's see why and um, how it works, what's the theory behind it and uh, how we can use it in our own um, KPI optimization or troubleshooting um, actions. So first of all, uh, if you remember, I explained it in the in uh, my uh, cell and user throughput uh, uh, session that how the 3GPP um, calculates throughput. So uh, the main idea of 3GPP or the specifications uh, that all the vendors follow is that uh, the last slot or any single slot or single subframe is not counted. Now, why is that? It is because the last slot or the or any single slot transmission does not carry enough data to actually count it for throughput. And what it means is that let's say a person is uh, sending a WhatsApp message, right? A message is let's say a very very small amount of data. So if we start counting those mess those messages in throughput calculation our throughput will be shown as very very low which is not really um, a RAN problem it should not really impact the throughput that is why only those slots or subframes are counted which are fully utilized so for instance over here we have data and uh, there's data in the buffer and we are uh, on these slots we have data all along so let's take an example we have 100 bytes of data and with these green bars here we have transmitted 97 bytes now only three bytes are left and these three bytes are sent in this last subframe or last slot so this last subframe or last slot will not be pegged in the throughput counter but usually uh, it is pegged uh, separately as a last slot or a single slot kind of uh, indication so this will not be used in the the throughput calculation. Now why is it important? It's important because let's say you have a site or a cluster or a network where you have the last slot or a single slot uh, and its proportion suddenly changes. Then that indicates that there was an issue at a higher layer let's say a server side or cache issue or TCP proxy issue, backhaul issue, application level changes, routing issue, it can be anything. But it indicates that you have a problem somewhere that is beyond the RAN or you can say northbound to the RAN somewhere uh, at a, a backhaul level that is not our RAN issue. Now uh, why is it uh, that important? Um, first of all you need to make sure that you have this uh, understanding that you do a last slot or a single slot proportion if it's following a trend usually it is following a trend and then if there's a sudden change in trend that is an increase in trend 
then it indicates a problem. If there is a decrease, then it does not indicate a problem. It actually increase. It actually indicates that something has uh, been done better at the core end. So our problem is when our last slot or single slot proportion suddenly increases. Suddenly increases. Now, uh, why is this uh, a problem, and why does it indicate that there is an issue at the backhaul? Let's try to understand that. Let's say this is the data coming from the backhaul from the core or transmission network. This is my site and this is the site transmitting this data over the air. Each this each of this block is a slot or a subframe. So it can be LTE or 5G whatever. So if it's LTE we call them subframes. If they are 5G we call it slot. So it's slot or a subframe. Now if the, the data is coming in bigger chunks, then all the data is sent over the air. Let's say this, all this block, I'm just using it as a simple example. So all this block is sent in this slot, then all of this block is sent in this slot to the UE and so on until the last amount of data, which is sent in the last slot. Now this slot is not full, so it will not be part of throughput calculation. However, when we talk about last slot or single slot uh, proportion, then we can say that total six slots were there, right? And uh, out of these six slots, uh, we have one slot, which is the last slot or single slot. So the last slot or single slot proportion will be one by six, which is 16%. So this is uh, what how we calculate the last slot or single slot proportion. You can also calculate it based on the traffic amount of traffic in the last slot over the total slots so that is also another way to calculate it now uh, if let's say there was a limitation on the backhaul and the data started to come in a very fluctuating manner so the, if there is a congestion on the backhaul for instance so or the tcp proxy has some problem so the amount of data incoming to the eg node b will start to reduce now if that happens let's say this chunk goes on over here this chunk is sent over here and a portion of this chunk is sent over here and this chunk is sent over here so what's happening is that now my slots or subframes are not full anymore they are uh, partially empty so in this case uh, i have totally uh, one two three and four four slots carrying data out of these four slots three slots are either last slot or single slot. So my last slot or single slot proportion is now three by four, which is 75%. So it's very high. Now, uh, it is possible that a site has small packet kind of transmission, so then it is okay. But if we look at uh, a daily level uh, and we see that a site or a, let's say a cluster of sites uh, was averaging around 16%, and then suddenly on another day, they went up to 75%. Let's say if we go back to this slide and understand this here, so it was let's say here 16% and suddenly it jumps to 75%. Then because the trend has changed suddenly, that would indicate that something like this has happened. That the traffic which used to come in bigger chunks is now coming in a fluctuating uh, or with a higher variability with a higher jitter. So it shows that something has happened at the backhaul or transmission or core side. So with this kind of this technique or with this indicator, you can actually um, make a, a very intelligent guess or an educated guess that uh, if you, uh, your other KPIs have suddenly been impacted or you have customer complaints coming and you check this uh, KPI, is a single slot or last slot ratio and it has suddenly increased in um, by a significant amount then you can actually say that it uh, that this issue seems to be somewhere coming from the uh, backhaul or higher end or core end and you should uh, request the core network to have a look at it so this is uh, one of the ways that i use and i think this will help you as well so um, that's all from my side. If you have any questions, please put comments. If you like the video, uh, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much. Bye.